In this video we are going to talk about exciting games for the bride and groom, the only guide you need. So before starting this video like this video and subscribe to Best for Bride YouTube channel for future updates. Planning a wedding may be difficult, particularly when it comes to the entertainment for the reception. When games and activities are incorporated into the wedding reception party and other wedding events, it may be a simple way to break the ice with your guests and create a fun atmosphere. For the enjoyment and participation of the bride and groom as well as wedding guests, we have gathered our favorite games. The newlywed game is one of our favorites for gauging how well the pair actually understands one another. The game, which is modeled after the vintage game show, involves asking the pair various questions to see how well they know one another. To begin, contact the bride and groom separately and ask them to respond to the questions, making sure to keep their answers a secret until the occasion. Choose a host for the occasion who will MC the game and keep it fun. When the game is ready, have the couple complete paper questionnaires with the questions they previously completed, but this time choosing the responses they believe the other will choose. The host will review the questions after they have been completed. Each time someone provides the right response to the question, they will score a point. After all of the questions have been answered, the winner is the individual with the most points. The wedding shoe activity is another well-liked game that the bride and groom enjoy playing at the reception. Play this game with the newlyweds sitting back to back on chairs in the center of the room or dance floor. Ask the couple to switch their shoes so they can use the other to respond to inquiries. Who has the weirder family is one of the humorous questions the game's host will possess. Person is more likely to argue their way out of a speeding penalty, for example. The couple will lift the shoe of the respondent they believe best fits the question when it is posed. The game is even more enjoyable because neither participant will know the couple's response because they are facing away from one another. Since it is more opinion-based, this game does not have a clear winner, but it is a lot of fun for the rest of the wedding guests to play. Games can be excellent ways to get people talking at a reception party. The famous fictional couple's guessing game should be played first. If your wedding party is made up primarily of bookworms and movie buffs, this game is perfect for you. Each player's goal in the game is to correctly identify the famous fictitious couple they choose from a deck of cards by answering yes or no questions. A player draws a card and holds it above their head while playing without looking at it. The player will then pose yes or no questions to the other participants in an effort to identify the correct fictitious pair on the card. By dividing the participants into two teams, you can increase the level of competition in this game. Those who correctly predict the card will pose the questions to their group. The winning team will be the one that answers questions most accurately. He said, she said is a different game that will gauge how well the wedding guests know the bride and groom. Before the wedding festivities, someone will sit down with the bride and groom separately to record their responses to a series of assertions with which they will either agree or disagree. You can then create an answer key once you have collected all of their responses. The answer key will indicate if the bride and groom entirely agreed or disagreed with each other's responses, which you should mark as both. You will distribute cards with the same questions to the guests at the wedding party as you did to the bride and groom. The game's host will then read each statement aloud. The bride, groom, or both will then be circled by the guests on the card next to the message. The host will finally review the statements with the right answers. The winner will be the visitor who provides the most accurate responses. When going through the statements again, a fun addition to the game is showing the bride and groom's recorded responses on a screen for the guests to see. A digital scavenger hunt is a game that can be played during the reception. You must make a list of 15 to 20 wedding-related moments that guests must record on their phones during the reception. Before the guests come, print off the list's sheets and arrange them on the tables. These can be dancing, the cutting of the wedding cake, or the couple participating in a game. The one who gathers the majority of the images, or all of them, first wins. 
There are many outdoor activities available for guests to play if the wedding will be outside. These include games like large piece tic-tac-toe, cornhole, ring toss, and Jenga. These games are simple to make at home and may be tailored to match your wedding's theme. If you're having a more laid-back and informal wedding in the summer, outdoor games are fantastic to play. These kinds of games will also keep kids entertained if there are any at the wedding. There are several games that the happy couple and the wedding guests can play and enjoy even if you are having a small, socially distant wedding. Never have I ever puts the pair on the spot when they are forced to discuss prior deeds and occasions in order to respond to the inquiries. Similar to the wedding shoe game, the couple is first seated in the middle of the room. To answer the questions, a paddle is provided to each person. The person will flash one side of the paddle in response to a question, indicating either, I have done that, or, I have never done that. A finger must be placed on the ground each time someone flashes the paddle to indicate they have completed an action. The game is lost by the player who runs out of fingers. The next game is additionally fantastic for a bachelorette party. How well do you know the bride and groom is an additional socially remote game. By employing questions to gauge the wedding guest's level of expertise, this is comparable to the newlywed game. Each visitor is given a sheet of questions to complete, the one with the highest percentage of answers correctly wins and receives a reward. Try wedding mad libs if you want to play a game that is a little bit imaginative. Place a wedding mad libs card at each seat for guests to complete during the reception supper. Gather the cards at the conclusion of the occasion to deliver the couple as a gift for them to peruse following the wedding. This is a simple method to increase the reception's entertainment while also giving the bride and groom something to look forward to following their wedding. Last but not least, providing activities for guests at the reception party can be a terrific way to add to the enjoyment while other games and dancing are taking place. A meaningful activity called a message in a bottle will also serve as a present for the bride and groom to open after the wedding festivities. Print out a sign and place it in the room on a table with note cards and empty tiny bottles for setup. Invite visitors to take a bottle, a card, and a pen to fill out a personal message that they can then roll up and reinsert within their bottle. The notes may contain written memories or advice for the pair. Gather the bottles at the end of the celebration and keep them so the bride and groom can enjoy them later. We advise them to hold on to the messages for a full year and read them on their first wedding anniversary. With this plan, the couple will have something to look forward to long after the wedding and will be grateful for all of their close friends and family that came. A poignant activity that doubles as a present for the bride and groom to read after the wedding activities is the message in a bottle craft. Keep in mind that games shouldn't be stressful for the wedding party guests, they should be enjoyable. It can be less stressful for the bride and groom on their big day if there are several people in charge of organizing the games. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.